Good evening, welcome. Ο Κόμις μαγειρεύει με τα μουσικής, The Count Cooks, Season 2, Episode 19, I think. Cheers, raise a toast to your Gothic host. I thought I'd show you a, a different uh, goblet today because I've been overdoing it with my chalice. Because you see, this is a goblet, the other one is a chalice. There's a difference. Αυτό είναι ποτήρι κρασιού και το άλλο είναι δίσκο ποτήρο. So, goblet, wine goblet, chalice, the other tall one. So, after this little explanation, um, today I'm gonna cook a spicy vegetarian egg fried rice, which you can accompany with anything you want, with chicken, uh, with uh, beef, with um, pork, whether that's uh, sweet and sour pork, whether that's uh, different kind, it goes with everything, right? So, um, it has a lot of preparation, but uh, quite a, quite a quick cooking, because the rice uh, has to be pre-boiled, yeah? and obviously everything else is cut and uh, you will see how it goes today we're gonna have two different songs from two different eras the first one is from one of my favorite female bands incubus Ugubus, and it's called bella donna and aconite if you find it with the lyrics um, it's very interesting to see right at the end uh, it's, it tells you uh, the names of all these poisons so it's going to be quite useful for you ladies if you want to poison someone. <laughs> God forbid, you know. Black humor, British, you know. Mm -hmm. well. well, there you go. Let's turn uh, slowly. And before our oil heats, we're going to start with the first song of today. The second one I'll tell you right at the end. Right. So, let's see if we can start with this. Incubus Ugubus. I think it's somewhere just uh, after 1990 something. And uh, it's a great song actually. Bella Donna and Aconites. Turn the heat on.
first we're gonna saute some uh, one onion chopped and uh, one uh, clove of garlic chopped as well. Female vocal band just uh, after the 90s. Then we're gonna have the chopped mushrooms. It's pretty easy actually and uh, quite. Um, economical really in this dish obviously if you if you add the chicken or uh, some kind of meat or whatever but this is a vegetarian dish so you know treat it as as it is really and if you make uh, quite a lot of rice and if you up the quantities on peppers and uh, mushrooms you can make a proper meal of it really This seems to be going well. Now this, you can use any kind of vegetable you like. I wanted to use broccoli and this is broccoli believe it or not it's a new version i think it hails from italy it's an italian variety of broccoli and uh, you put that uh, right at uh, the end because obviously i boiled it a little bit i don't want it to go uh, all yucky broccoli in it in an italico idos about the pedia about the nevia the fragisco and the xyl photo που παίρνω όλα μου τα λαϊκανικά εκεί από τη λαϊκή ελπίζω να μην, να μην μαλώ στο youtube που είπα δύο ονόματα αλλά δεν είναι τίποτα λαϊκή η αγορά είναι, δεν είναι κατάστημα δεν, είναι, δεν έδωσα τηλέφωνο και κάτι απλώς είπα από πού είναι τα λαχανικά σαν να λέμε που γεννήθηκε κάποιο ή που σπούδασε ή που μένει ή που σε ποια πόλη μένει I don't think it's anything too private yeah. So, I can do. The point of left eye, the bit of rizzi. The bio, 
you can use long grain rice whatever firm you like but I'm a sworn fan of basmati rice and especially this one which is a which is called supreme and it's like uh, really long so once you heat a little bit once you heat the rice a little bit then it's gonna come there some kind of difficult part I would say because well I would do it different but the proper way of doing it is what I'm gonna do in a minute you will see I have to make a well in the middle this um, dish calls for uh, sesame oil which is extremely expensive and uh, instead of that I'm gonna use sesame seeds la di susami to pio canonica oji oji canonica e vos hai te la nadojo ligo tiganisi alla ξέχασα τελείως, αλλά δεν πειράζει It does the same job Χαμηλώνουμε αρκετά την ε, για να μην μας κολλήσει το ρύζι γιατί το ρύζι είναι απλώς θέλαμε να πάρει λίγο α, να ζεσταθεί λίγο Χαμηλώνουμε ακόμα πιο πολύ και έχουμε τώρα αυτό που εγώ θεωρώ το πιο δύσκολο μέρος και για να το κάνουμε σωστά Βασικά πρέπει να βάλουμε λίγο λάδι εκεί Όχι πολύ, λίγο στη μέση Κάνουμε ανοίγουμε σαν ένα πηγάδι Make it well Λένε Βέβαια το λάδι δεν θα μείνει εκεί, θα πάει πέρα δόθε Δεν είναι ό,τι και να κάνεις Δεν θα μείνει εκεί Αλλά θα προσπαθήσουμε Βάζουμε λοιπόν, επειδή έχω φτιάξει μπόλικο ρύζι, βάζω δύο αυγά. Κανονικά είναι ένα αυγό, αν φτιάξει μικρή ποσότητα. Πρέπει να πλύνουμε και τα χέρια τώρα, διότι φτιάξαμε ένα αυγό. Τουλάχιστον τα δάχτυλα, γιατί με τα δάχτυλα είναι τέσσερα, αλλά πλύνεις και πάρα πολύ. Αλλά είναι ok, I think. Δεν τελειώσαμε, έχουμε και άλλα και άλλα πράγματα. Τώρα πρέπει να, να ανοίξουμε λίγο την ε, απλώς ανακατεύουμε, σαν να κάνουμε ομελέτα έτσι και έχουμε να προσθέσουμε ακόμα, όπως σας είπα, το σισάμι αντί για σισαμέλαιο Έχουμε επίσης να προσθέσουμε τη σόγια σος και το sweet chili relish το οποίο sweet chili είναι ας πούμε sweet, έτσι Cheers How you coping with the cold Πώς σας Πώς περνάτε με το κρύο Σήμερα έχει μια φανταστική λιακάδα αλλά βέβαια Ήλιος όχι με δόντια Vampires αν νομίζω είναι σήμερα Λοιπόν βλέπετε γιατί είναι δύσκολο το κομμάτι Διότι κανονικά αυτό θα έπρεπε να το κάνεις από το αυγό αλλού ε, Και μετά να το Να το ρίξεις μέσα εδώ Κομματάκια So you have to do this egg somewhere else make an omelette or something and then cut it cut in small pieces and because it's almost ready I'm gonna introduce the rest of and of course it's 
scorches the bottom a little bit but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna have so much of other stuff going in if you don't want to put broccoli you can use um, runner beans long beans you can use uh, black beans you can use uh, spinach and any any vegetable you like carrots anything if you want you can use more than one vegetable I think one is enough because you got the pepper also so uh, two soup spoonfuls of soya sauce Also put the sesame in. Then we put the relish Well the relish uh, Chili relish Sweet chili relish why, why is it called um, what's it, what, the, what I said the title was spicy vegetarian egg fried rice yeah well the, even the sweet chili relish has garlic and has a little bit it gives you a little bit of hotness a little bit of kick in the food uh, what else have I got some? oh yes and we have the parsley which we've chopped earlier fresh parsley fresco maidano to opio da namigni mu kefto mesa kia servite afto piato kovete komatia lemoni ke to vazete episis I could give this another name, I could make it Spicy Vegetarian Risotto which is not a proper name of course but still it feels a lot I think next time I will do the egg separately and put it in but you know if you, if you know how to make um, uh, proper carbonara you know the carbonara is um, done with um, not with fresh cream but with uh, yolks of, uh, of egg egg yolks so when you at the end when you put the, the, the yolks in the in the in the pasta you it has to be very very low heat so the, 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 the egg doesn't get uh, um, how do you call it? Uh, is not uh, is not the egg isn't fried, yeah? Because that's not the point. The egg mustn't fry. Must must be a liquid as as much as possible. Uh, together mixed with the uh, the cheese, and it makes a nice sauce, very similar to carbonara but without fresh cream. So I'm sure you know that, most of you, who like uh, spaghetti and so forth. Well, our risotto is almost ready. Let's hear our second song, which is entirely different. It's something of, from my years in England. I've seen this band so many times live, and it's from my favorite city, and it's one of my great favorites. And I'm London's burning! London's burning by the clash!
great song that was. I'm sure you remember it. I'm sure everybody knows it. Uh, well, the, at least the name of the band, The Clash. And um, what was I going to say? Uh, that was about uh, 1979, 70, 79, 80, I think it was released. And it had to do with the Brixton riots, I think. Because um, if you find the words of this song, it's very political. It's, uh, you know, about the minorities and, uh, you know, how they were treated and um, whatever. But uh, you, ha you have to look at the lyrics to be able to understand that. And the other thing you have to do for our uh, risotto, for our, <laughs> you see, you put lemon wedges on the side because that's what you're supposed to sprinkle over afterwards with a little bit of lemon juice yeah so I think it's time to uh, turn the camera around I will show you the dish again yeah I think it looks great and I'm going to you will see it when I take the photos and put them up in Instagram and and Facebook yeah well this dish you can eat with anything you like as I said any kind of meat if you want it otherwise it's strictly vegetarian yeah there's no ifs or buts about it it's a proper vegetarian dish uh, spicy vegetarian egg fried rice there's lots of ways to fry to, to make a fried rice dish but uh, this is a nice one I think and very filling so raise a toast your gothic host Be dark, be safe, be healthy, be goth. See you soon, I hope. And uh, keep watching the YouTube. I'm a little bit upset about the views. Where, where is the rest of you? Come on. There's some really, really good cooking there. Maybe uh, <laughs> I haven't done it properly. Maybe you didn't like it. But uh, it's really good. Anyway, uh, see you probably next Sunday and uh what else nothing else really if you want to come and see me in the shop you're welcome please do so and see you soon cheers <laughs>